Uh, okay, here's the phone number for Ginger and Joni, 818-771-8750. Uh, <laughs> Steve, what do you think? I think there's more love here. Yeah. I really do. They're I do. special. Yeah. So they sweet. Very, we'll put them up on our website, too, at oh, myfoxla.com. Very sweet on you. It, it really suits you. She's wearing a little jacket. <laughs> <laughs> love at first sight. It is. Well, not sight. Sorry, no offense, because that one's blind. <laughs> I always say the wrong thing. All right, we're going to do the name thing. Coming All right, up. we are so excited. Coming up, we're going to find out what our names mean about us, who we really are, when we come back. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm nervous. I, I just have to tell you right now, uh, they are lined up in the hallway. I know. They are lined up. Everybody who works here wants to be... They Your say friend. read by you. That's not the right word, but what would well, you Well, it say? is. It's reading the name. Okay. 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 All right. What does your name say about you? Sharon Wyeth is here. She created something called Namology, spelled N-E-I-M-O-L-O-G-Y, science, to interpret names determining how you think, feel, and behave. So in other words, the names that your parents give you mm -hmm. change your life. Well, we believe that the soul impresses upon the, the one parents. naming you oh. yeah. what you want to be called, so you really name so yourself. So parents are conduits of some other energy. There. Some other energy. Mm. Or there's a science out there called somatics, which literally says that sound can change our own vibration. And what do you identify with most but uh. your name? Mm. Because when we say, who are you, you answer with your name as if that should say it all. Mm -hmm. And okay. it does once you know nameology science. Boy, you are spunky, aren't you? You're excited <laughs> about this. Now, it's interesting, if we, if we had somebody come in here who is like a scientific expert on certain things, nobody's interested. Mm -hmm. Lose got, us at you science. You've got homology, they are lined up. Yeah, but right. there is a science behind all this. Well, I there mean, is because it's patterns. It's something you can mm -hmm. prove. Yeah. yeah. Huh. You know, it's something that anybody can do. Anybody can learn. Okay. So it's not being psychic. It's not being whatever. It's literally it's like fact. facts and, and huh. learn which behaviors okay. go with which combinations. All right. Okay. So okay. Either Hit us with we're these facts. We're going to find out some really interesting information. Or they're all a bunch of suckers. <laughs> you're you're yeah, yeah, your name's up there. Right. Let us begin with Maria Santillon, who has been very excited and nervous about this. Okay. Okay. So you have fairness issues. You want the world to be fair. And of course it's fair according to your definition of fair. Okay. You have a tendency to be a workaholic, but you make a great couch potato when you're done with your work. And then if a glass is just even out of reach as somebody's walking by, you'll say, oh, could you get that for me and hand it to me? Because you don't even want <laughs> to get up. it's wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the other thing is the challenge in your name, because we all have challenges, is so that other people don't take advantage of you because they would like to try to take advantage of you if they could. Mm -hmm. And then they want to play on your emotions and able for you to feel sorry for them, so then you'd give in. But you're highly independent. You made yourself very likable, but you're not going to change who you it's are and able really to get liked. It's not really likable underneath. <laughs> That's what you're saying? No, but I'm not saying that. But you made yourself likable. Don't interfere. She knew it was very important to be likable. And so, but you've got this nice rebellious spirit. Yeah. And so you don't like to be told what to do. Uh -huh. You like mm. to be asked what to do. Mm. And asked, you're pretty compliable. Tell that rebellion oh. comes right up and you're going, not <laughs> happening. You know, I don't want to do this. Well, that sounds like you're, too, that sounds like you're you. describing yeah. me, but yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, so does that include her middle name, Grace? No, I wasn't doing the middle name. Oh, does that it, change it? No, it doesn't change okay. that. Right. The, the middle name tells me if you believe in reincarnation, yeah. what you were Ooh. in your last lifetime, Ooh. your immediate last life. Right. And if you don't believe in reincarnation, we interpret it as where you go when you're under stress. Well, but because I, can you do that? But, but whenever they name you after somebody who's in your family, It'll always, that person will always die, and you'll always have that name, right? So that's what kind of reincarnation. Yeah, but this is deeper than No, that. this is deeper. Yeah. Yeah. This goes yeah. back Who's to where you're your the life? most comfortable because you've had a lot of experience in that mm -hmm. particular area. Yeah. Well, Grace is my grandma, but now she's my daughter. You know, yeah. the and, name anyway. And in the name Grace, it says, I want to be in charge of me, but everybody around me keeps making me self-sacrifice for the good of everybody else, and when's it going to be my turn? Mm -hmm. right. and, it, and Grace says, I came for an agent of change. Right, I'm going to help people change Aroxia their beliefs. Aroxia Carpadian. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I needed two lines there. I love this name. One, because I've never heard it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a new name. Okay. So, Aroxia, when I look at it, first of all, I look at all these A's all the way through this name. And A is work and sometimes not wanting to work but feeling compelled to work. Hmm. Okay, and then it's that couch potato at the end. But it also, because you have so many of them, it says you're highly spiritual, that that's what drives you. It's your spiritual understanding. It's your sense of justice and righteousness, and and that's what really is driving you to go forward Pardon because me for you're reporting to a higher power. I'm interrupting again. She is known 
by her friends and family as Nana, which is two more A's. Two more A's. Yeah. And with the N's that say that she has a really good memory and she's organized and that she, she really pays attention to anything she's interested in. Now, if you're not interested, who cares anyway? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? All right, Lisa That's Breck. That's true. Lisa Breckenridge. <laughs> Lisa okay. Brookenridge. So, Lisa, your name says that you were born with self-confidence and that you like to learn and you're, you're smart and you were probably very good in school. But when somebody comes to show you something new, it's like, stay right here, make sure I got it. And then the minute you've got it, it's like, okay, go away, get out of here, I got it. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. Like, leave. <laughs> you know, it's like, how fast can you get rid of them once you don't need them anymore? Right? <laughs> but it says, to me, it says school smart. So you can keep learning and knowledge is really important to you. It also says in your name that you learn through family issues. Now, all of us learn through <laughs> all relationships. Heard issues. I heard issues and I heard family. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that all of our lessons in life come in one of three packages, either health or finances or relationships. And you picked relationships and not just any old relationships you want to major in family. So the good, bad, and the ugly, it all comes from family. And that's what takes your time and attention. A well, lot of time true. and yeah. attention. Uh, that's true. Oh, yeah. but were you born confident? A problem? Yes, I was, and then I met you, and it all. <laughs> <laughs> Good life. Good life. All right. Finally, you wish uh, we were out of time, but one. we're yeah. not. Okay, so Steve, when I was looking at your name, it's really interesting. You have two combinations in your last name that say one, you get frustrated really easily, <laughs> and the other one is you want everything to be exactly how you want it to be. Amen. Amen. Yes. yes. Yep. So what what's that the, what's combination? The <laughs> so what that combination yeah. says is, when you get upset, all of us want to run. <laughs> None of us want to be around you when you get upset because Very it's like, true. no, it needs to be this way. Mm. Okay. Now, I wasn't born with this name. You were born so with the middle name. I was born with the middle name Edward. Right. And the last name Schwartz. Yes. It, does that change everything? No, because right. you've gone for more than seven years with Edwards as your last name. Yes. And so Edwards is what you are comfortable with. That's huh. your most comfort zone. That was your middle name. And you moved it into your last name, which says now you get to express it everywhere. Hmm. You're going to bring it out into the environment. Because right. the first name is the essence of who we are. Uh -huh. The middle name is where we go when we're under stress. And the last name is our environmental influences and what we put out in the environment. I'm getting very upset and I want to control this thing. Thank you. <laughs> Her Run, book, girl. Know the Name, Know the Person, is available now. Thank you so Very much. Cool. Can I have, you, may yeah. I have my note card? Yes. Yeah. Oh, we want, okay, we all want more, 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 more. <laughs> okay. I thank hope you have you. all day because everyone's no going to come gonna chasing after you. you. Okay. So neat. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, I love you. Had our you know what? In. There's this nothing on here. I do. <laughs> There's nothing. I just all look at here. it. It's all up there. <laughs> We have mobbed her. It Can she so, not leave? It is so interesting to see. How we behave. How all of you are desperate and you're yelling things. Oh, what, what's like, my how, challenge? Yeah. And yeah. she's shell-shocked. I'm like, what, what's my issue in life? No, what is my great, health? She has a great spirit. We asked oh, when you were going to die. Oh, I mean, oh, we were thank just... You, thank you. We asked yeah. how old you yeah. were. We tried yeah. to things Aroxia, got really interesting. Aroxia, who's the one who said, I don't believe in any of this stuff. I'm not she interested. We can't down. stop I you now. I took notes. Of course you did. It's in yeah. your nature. Ah. By the year, my, my year is going to be 2017. Do you so, feel so like it was accurate? Me, give me an honest answer. How close was it to you? I don't feel like it was close. So I, okay. I, I yeah. didn't feel like I, I related. She was I, pretty close to me. I, was, like I was the most confident little kid. You like overly confident before I should have been <laughs> confident. <laughs> and then you met Steve. And then I met Steve. Can I say, in fairness, my defense of long before you <laughs> met me? I think she had you spot on. What that I'm an annoying. Um, Controlling. 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 Angry. Angry, angry person. Anger under the surface. She didn't use those words. Yeah, she, per did. Se. Sure she did. But yeah. she said when uh, you get. When you do get mad, we want to run because yeah. it doesn't happen. But how often, often do I get mad? No, not often. Yeah. But when you do, we want hold run. on to your hat. I want to please you, I right? Think, I think I'm very patient. Them. You are yeah. very patient. Yeah. Well, look, Aroxia's so poor. She can't get out of your car. I, Aroxia's, I don't believe in this stuff. I don't even want to do this stuff. Tell me, how will I be? Will I be? <laughs> you are a workaholic. Thank you so much. She said I need to that play more. I work too hard. She said you're a little obsessive, by the way, no, over you are your nose. She said I need to play more? But you play a lot. No, I don't. I'm here as a witness to say you play. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Quavon, you got red. What do you think? I did. I, I, and contrary to what I don't know if it was Heather, she was in there for a long time. I wasn't really in there that long, but she gave me the same reading as Maria Sansone because naturally we have the same first name, right? So yeah. 
She was the same sort of characteristics. So maybe it suited you more than Sansone. Maybe it was. Uh, you know, I mean, there's uh, interest. It's yeah. interesting. There's a little bit of truth in what she said. I think um, I needed to spend a little more time with her. Mm -hmm. no, but I did ask her. I go, what is the most common question that people ask you about themselves? And uh, she said, it's what's my purpose here in this life. So uh, that's oh, none right. Of us everyone asked that. Everyone asked that, and uh, nobody here asked. We that. didn't. We just wanted oh, to know what I, was happening to us. I did ask her that. Wait a second. Look at Roxy. Look at Roxy. Look at her. She has not. Stop. This is the person. She's got a lot of notes. Who she, wasn't into it? Yeah, I'm not into this I'm stuff. I'm just remembering what she said. I'm trying to write it all down. Uh, she did say so about the, the purpose yeah. in your name. And, and, there is, and there is that. One more thing. We're going to do a segment one day on why people are desperate to know these things at every moment. And it doesn't matter who comes through the door. I don't care if it's somebody who says he's a psychic or he reads marbles we or whatever it is, have, people line we're up. We're lost. Yeah, we, we just want to be found. We want guidance and want, we think maybe that can help. Don't you think? We all want to know. We're just we all want to know our future. Yeah. Okay, we got to move. Oh, okay.